Okay, you have Junk Bastion, so you're not gonna get anyone diving with you. Okay. You didn't engage right away, that's good. That's really good, that was perfect. Went in with your E, get out, got two. You're snowballing, so you can keep rolling. Perfect. You did something there very well, which was like, you didn't engage through main right away. You got on the flank and then engage. Well played. Trying to scout for Sombra, that's not bad either. So you know that she might get that health back. This is a new player, by the way. You started only a month ago, right? You can either roll through here because they're down one and they have no Sombra. You see, although they have Sombra, she wasn't looking to act you, so we're good. Look at this goodies. L look how easy ball is when you have goodies. Right there, you overstay a little bit, right? But that was just a slight mistake. You got goodies, good slams. Now let's look at this fight. Why did you lose that much HP, right? Say good luck. Let's watch again. The objective is not to lose any armor, right? Once you lose the armor, you're feeding. You got a good D here. Say you took too long to re-engage. If you want to re- This is the time to re-engage because your E is still there. Right? You did well rotating, but now you're going to engage without your E, right? And this is still fine. If you just roll, but you slammed. This is still fine. But now you're going to stay and you have no E. So I guess because you saw the Mercy, you're like, oh, let me just shoot her. But you're shooting in front of the enemy team. All right? You're shooting in front of these two people, which is basically two hit scans with a bap. And that's why you lose some HP. But once you start losing more HP, you back up, which is good. And then you shoot from a corner. Nice. Good. Go on the flank again. They lost the max, so you should be able to push up. Perfect. This is good. You didn't use your E because you didn't need it to. Okay, you back up again because that's a lot of damage. That's fine. That was good. That was good. Don't look at the aim. I mean, it's console. This guy is really good for a month. Yeah, you've been playing. You told me, right? Uh, in fact. About a month. Okay, now you have mines. Right? So... Let's analyze what happened until now. You never lost a fight. You engage every time with your E. That was a slight mistake that we talk about, but that's fine. You didn't die at least. I feel like with three E's, you got your ultimate. Think about it, guys. This guy used three E's. You went in three times and he got his ultimate. How strong is that? So a lot of people complicate, they shoot a lot, try to do techs, but he's playing it simple, and you won. I don't know what's going to happen in the game, right? I don't know what's going to happen. But I know until now, everything went very good, in my opinion, especially for a month, because he's playing Wrecking Ball in a simple way. He's just using his abilities well. He's not trying to do any techs. He's not trying to be the best tracker in the world. And now he has his ultimate. This is one of the most important parts of Wrecking Ball. Ultimate. Minefield plan, right? At the right time. They're coming out of the choke that supposedly should be the right time, or is your team? Your team is right there, so even if you minefield here, it might be a little bit too late, but you're going to get value out of it. Low atomic square, let's see what's going to happen. I, I see a mistake here, which is not slamming. That's a big mistake. I would have got, if you have problems of slamming here, just get high ground, minefield slam. That's the first big mistake that I see. And now you overstay, you almost died. Okay, this is the first bad engage that I've seen you done. This is what you want to avoid, by the way. Because you didn't use your abilities well. You didn't minefield slam. You didn't use your E correctly. You overstayed. This is a clear example of what a bad engage is. And now he's just waiting for heals. I would have got a mega because you don't want... The fight is going on, right? 
look, there is a mortality field, people are shooting each other. Right now, I would have got a Mega. Instead of waiting for Mercios. I think you're trying to go win with your with the tire. Usually with the tire just slam. Do you know why? That was another bad engage. Do you know why it was a bad engage? Because you didn't knew where they were. So you kind of just went in, right? So you back up, you get healed. Now you're gonna look, you're already going in, but you don't know where the enemy team is. You gotta look, which is scout, set up, and then engage. If you go in without scouting, which is here, look, you just right now you're going in because you want you want to get fireball, and then you get fireball, and you're like, wait, where, where, where is the enemy? Where is the enemy? Okay, there is a soldier there. I'm gonna go for him, and then you took a lot of damage. The soldier backs up. Why not? Why not? For example, if you scout a little bit, if you went through the left side, why not get a grapple and slam my ground and get a good E, right? Now you're not applying the fundamentals again. But you back up, that's not bad, you didn't use your E. Look, do you see those people I ground? That's where you need to slam. Okay, minefield sla uh, combo, good job. That was a good combo, you didn't use your E either because he was the only person. So now you can go in, use your E there and slam. Use your E. No E? I guess no E, no one is shooting. That's, that's not terrible though. Why not slam here? Why not slam here? You have your E, so you can slam. She's good, you got high ground. I don't know if you did it on purpose. And because of that, you killed the Mercy. Good track. Here, why not slam here with your E? Because it's been a while since you haven't used your E. Wanna use it? No, you're not using it. I mean, no one, I don't know why they're not doing damage to you. I guess it's lower the vision. But hey, it's fine, you're winning. There is a tech here. That, that was nice because you got high ground. There is a tech you can do here. If you roll through here, look, do you see this little space? You can slam here without like jumping or anything. You just roll through here and you press your shift your slam ability and you can slam because this is like a hole so it's like you have enough height I never expected but you could have slammed there you could have used your ultimate you filled the minefield that, that like that second point could have been super clean you could have won it easily if you just minefield slam when you had it but not there bro again this is a new player so that is a good track console console aim assist I would have used my E there. I don't know why you're not using your E. It's been so long since you're using your E. Yeah, you have your minefield. Minefield slam, not bad. Kinda zoned the castle there. I like that you're not committing because you have no E. Okay, you run away. That's nice. I feel like you could have been maximizing your ease way more. I feel like you could have used it way more. Okay, my field slam. Gotta take a lot of damage. Okay. So this is your first death. Now you need to ask yourself, why did you die here? You wanna know why you died? Look. You're going in, but you don't know where they are. Again. So you're gonna take a lot of damage before you got into them, right? What I would have done here is get high ground with your grapple, with the retractable grapple, and then go behind, because going through this open space, you're going to take a lot of damage. And that's why you're going to die. Look, do you see, like, this is an open space, especially where they are. First, you don't know where they are. You might have an idea where they are, but you don't know where they are. So you go, look, you're engaging right from there. You need to go in when you know where they are. Because then your mind will start calculating how much damage they're going to do. And because you're going to go from so far away, you could look at the payload. You could have got high ground, wait a little bit, and then the payload gets here and then engage. You did went in with your E, but you didn't apply the first rule, the first fundamental, which is knowing where the enemy is. That's what scouting is. Knowing where they are, where are they going to move. 
That's the most valuable information you can get. And for that, you could have got high ground on any gauge. You went in through main. Oh, it's not this one. Is it the next one? Oh, this is where you're gonna scout. Never mind. I'm 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 clueless. It's here. But you're gonna do the same here. Look, you're gonna do the same here. So you're gonna roll through main, and you're gonna go. You're gonna get high. So oh, I'm on lover. Yeah, I'm doing a photo of you. You're gonna get high. Look how much HP you're gonna lose in the air. Look, you're off HP already. If you roll through, you probably lose less HP. I agree that you probably got a little bit unlucky because of the visor. But the visor shouldn't do that much damage to you because you're in bold mode. You don't get it shorter. It's just a combination damage boost, uh, diva, soldier, bop damage. Now you don't have the grapple and you're gonna die here. Could you have escaped somehow? No. You forced the Valk too. Going in in 1 versus 5 not the best idea. The problem is not going in 1 versus 5. Because Bow, the more targets, the better for him. Because of your E. The problem is that he didn't scout it. And he was in the air for too long when there is like everyone doing damage. Right? You gotta be sneaky. He wasn't sneaky. He just, he went through main. Look, the first fight of the first point, you didn't went through main. You got high ground, remember? So you took zero damage when you slam Because they didn't knew where you were. You didn't set up, exactly. And that's why you died. Usually when you die, it's because you're not applying those fundamentals. The shield usage... Okay, you got rest, big rest. I would have used my E there. You didn't die, you got lucky, I guess. He missed the nades. If you get naded there, you, you die. Oh, taking too much damage. Right here, I would have pushed one of the chokes right away with your E. Slam there, there's through people. Okay. You're not using your E's now, I don't know why. Look, you're off HP already. Now you use it. But you, you already lost all your HP, you know? Remember that now you can share shields. So, if you, like... Oh, are you gonna see nine them? If you get a good D and you feel like no one is shooting you... Oh, they have a tough comp now. Oh, you minefield? Oh, I don't know about that. You didn't slam with that. Oh, we got a pick and you survive. That was very good survivability, actually. It's crazy you survived that. You got the diva bomb, you got a pick. Use your E. Why was that it? You're surviving really well, by the way. That's pretty good. I should have waited. I would have waited for the minefield slam, but hey, you got value out of it. Got the mercy free value. Okay, got act. They have Sombra, right? Sombra King's Row, again, like Sombra and Bastion is really tough with D.Va especially because that's a lot of damage. That's why you're getting melted. But look, you already lost all your HP before you could use your E. How many shields did you got here? I feel like you could have got more. I don't know why you didn't got more. Did you miss on the Sombra maybe? You did well going above the payloads. I think you only got the Bastion. Yeah, you only got the Bastion, I think. No, you got the D.Va too. I feel like you should have got the Sombra here, but I guess she backed up a little bit and you didn't got her. Ah, she's surviving. You're using, you're using the... You're using the... Cover really well of the pillar there, the rest though. You're trying to get avoid the... Uh, slam with your E? Oh, I didn't use your E. I was like, oh, he's gonna slam there because he has easy, but you're not using it. Like, the first two points you did so well, but now... You might win, but I feel like you're forgetting about it. But you still use it after, so you didn't die. And now roll, roll on point. Big. That was nice. That was nice. I feel like I just I, I just think the, the fundamentals need a little bit more refining. But you escaped it pretty well. You got a lot of value with the minefield for some reason. 
They start countering you, so now you need to be careful. More of a panic field? Yeah, you want to avoid those. Watch the fundamentals. Scout. Use goodies. Don't feed. Oh, you're going in too early. Right. Since you can set... Why are you... You're using the grapple. I wouldn't set up here. That's not a good place to set up. Because you can see the enemy. Here it's better. This high ground. So you can see what they have. And only go in after you know what they have. If they have like three counters, you're going to have a hard time slamming. You are like, you think you're scouting, but the whole point of scouting is seeing the enemy. And you're scouting, but you don't know where the enemy is. You're not seeing them from spawn, so it's not a good scout. And you're going to use your grapple to slam when, when on defense, you should never use your grapple to slam. Because you can set up high ground. Because you're not setting up high ground, so you're going in and you don't know where they are. Now, if you apply the fundamentals here, you're probably not going to die. Although you fail one fundamental, which is like knowing the enemy and knowing where they are with scouting. As long as you go in with your E, you probably shouldn't die here. Which I think you're going to go. Fail the slam, unlucky. And you fail the, the shields on the E, so you back up. Let's see how you're going to play against the discard. But uh, you did part of the fundamentals. You're going in without your E now. Okay, you don't commit. That's good. You're just swinging around. Well played. Now you have your E? Great. Right, that was good. Run away, you're discarded. Okay, didn't die. That's a bit risky. You lost all your HP. How can you avoid losing all this HP, right? How can you avoid that here? This is good because although you're spinning, this is a hard concept. Although you're spinning, you're not committing engage, right? You're just spinning in a safe way. And now you commit once you have your E. You did well. Look, right here, once you get discorded, you want to back the fuck out. This Bastion should one-shot you. For some reason, he's not going to do it, although you're discorded. He's going to shoot you now. I guess he got booped, and he took a lot of damage, so he's going to die. But see that? Look, you already lost half of your HP. Once you get discorded, you want to hide so that Discord disappears, so you cannot get discorded again. It has a cooldown. Now, this roll through is very risky. If, they, if you get speared, if you get kicked, you die. Against better players, you die there, so make sure you don't do that. But okay, they didn't die, that's fine. Get the mini, there is a mini there. Don't... Actually, the fight is over, so you can let your team heal you, it's not that terrible. But now you can go through, you can go through because you're down one. I would have went through there. Are you waiting? You can super jump to this high ground, so you can have a free slam, right? And he's a grapple to slam. The Bastion is low, you're gonna punish him? Okay, bait the sentry form, well played. Roll through because you still have your E. Okay, now you play passive. Perfect. You're snowballing the fight, so this is not terrible. Although you had no E, but you're snowballing the fight, right? Use your E, use your E. Use your E, use your E, use your E. I would have shared the E to my team there. You didn't use the cooldown. Like, by this time, you would have the cooldown again. And you would have saved that Bastion. Use your E, use your E, use your E. Use your E, use your E, use your E. Why are you not using your E? Go on, Ips. Use your E, use your E. You have mines, but they have beat, so... Oh, there is... Okay. Oh, this is a mess. Too much going on. You already lost the fight, I think. Okay, your minefields need work. That fight was so confusing. Because they use beat, you want to wait for the minefields. Now the fight is already over. The fight the fight is already over, so there is no point on minefielding. Maybe they're going to run into the minefield and you win somehow. But the fight is already over. Once the fight is over, it's time to back up, reset, get ulti charged without dying. You can do that when the fight is already over. But now it's time to back up and recontest to the point with mines. Because you already lost. Like, they got too many picks. They rushed to your team. They used too many ultimates. You weren't ready to stop the rush because you didn't use your E and you didn't apply the fundamentals. 
Okay, slam goodie. I guess I guess you can keep contesting forever at this rank. Keep rolling. Can boop them into the minefield, maybe? Nice, okay. You got value out of the mine somehow. Now just wait, no need to panic. Can wait for your E. But they're not gonna do any damage to you, apparently. Now you can use your E. Remember, it's okay to use these proactively. If they're not shooting you and you feel like the E's is about to end, you can always share them with your team. Now you use your E, but now you're dead. You didn't saw the Bastion, unlucky. You were too exposed. In situations like this, it's hard to like have that ability, but you gotta think about people coming from spawn. You got a couple of peaks before. So in your mind, you gotta think, oh, in 10 or 15 seconds, people are coming from their spawn. They have spawn advantage. And because of that, you died. You could have reacted faster though. Like right here, once you start shooting you, like well, you got grenaded, right? Right now, you could have reacted faster. I think you didn't dead the grapple, I guess. Yeah, I didn't dead the grapple. Grapple had one second, so nothing. It takes longer to get your ulti, I think, when not using E. Are you gonna stream tomorrow? Yes. I stream every day. Hello, Knives. This is Plat, the new player. Yeah, I need to make sure you work on your ease, okay? I uh, use it more often and uh, although when you use them, they're decent, you can just be more proactive with it. Okay, now, do you see how the Oris is on point? That equals that the enemy team doesn't have a tank pushing. And because of that, you should be engaging on them. See, they're down two. That there is only two people on point, which means there's three people trying to push your team. If you engage on your team, you win that fight. Lobaruski. Here you're not gonna win because it's a tank and a Kiriko on point. Right? And you need the help of your team. Let's see what you're gonna do here. But you could have slammed with your E, you don't need to stay. You could have slammed with your E, stop the pillow for five more seconds and then get out free at chaos. Yeah, you engage on a tank. Okay, back up a little bit. Nice. It was a good engage. We're just uh, they engage on the wrong people. Okay, engage again with your E. There you go. Applying the, at least that fundamental. You're applying it really well, and because of that, you're gonna win most of your games in flat. Just because of that. You can go in and slam again, I believe. The fight is broken and no one is looking at you. So you can just keep guiding. Well played. Now you're gonna have your E again. There is the panic poop minefield. Use your E, use your E, use your E too late. Almost died. Again, you're still getting like you're still getting value out of your minefield. Because people just run into into it in this rank, right? But I will start practicing the minefield slam. Can I look at uh, for I level proper? You need to redeem the points on my Twitch, please. Okay. I don't know why you didn't slam there. Like you're using tire, it's time to go in and slam. Okay, perfect. You didn't slam anyone though. I noticed that you have a hard time slamming people sometimes. There was a couple of slams that they were empty slams. But I guess that comes with practice, right? I roll through. Watch out, Lucio can boop you on the rock. And then, although you got the Lucio, do you see how much HP you got? You lost. But that's okay, you didn't die. Okay, first you TP. Again. Do you see how you're bashed an ultimate? You gotta pay attention. Like, right? You gotta react. You gotta react to, to ultis like Tyre and Bastion as well. See? That, do you see that ultimate? 
if you have slam maybe she has a hard time cleansing that you know even if you don't have your e this is like one of those times that it's okay to slam without your e without applying the fundamentals because it's going to be high value because of the bash ability maybe she stood she still would have slammed that but you know what i mean you got to react okay we're using tires i'm going to go in Timing beats all. Yeah, timing is really important when, when it comes to ultimates. Guy slamming, shooting a little bit. The Sigma is low, you can punish him. Good, but look, I know that this guy is going to win most of his games because he's just applying the fundamentals. He's not overstaying. Nice dodge on the thing there. You have your E again? Okay. You overstayed a little bit now. Time to back up. That's okay. You're not going to die because you had your E. Let your team heal you because... There is no point on going in. You have no, you have no cooldown of your E, right? Okay. You don't know where they are. Again, you didn't scout it against higher ranked players. You're gonna, you wanna get rolled there. You can roll one more time without slamming because your E is gonna end or soft slam. This is what I call the soft slam, a slam that you can hide right away. I like this slam, although it didn't have your E. Why? Because it was close to a corner, right? It's very important that you understand this. He did it well here. I don't know if he did it on purpose. So you're going to find in this situation where he's slamming with your E, right? And then you're going to back up so you don't take a lot of damage. And there is a Reaper there. But now you don't have your E, but you still have your slam, right? So you're going to go in slam. You can do it, but you got to make sure that is a soft slam. A slam in a corner where they can't punish you. Thanks for the follow, Atomic. See, like, he slammed in a corner, kind of. You could have slammed also behind the payload or on the payload, but then back up right away. Which he does. He goes into a corner. See that? And they even got a pick there. So, perfect. That's what I call soft slam. Use your E. You overstayed. When you went one second too early, and you give away all your HP. Okay, be patient. Be patient. Okay, that poop minefield is not terrible because they're pushing with Sigma ulti and you need to stop them from rush. And you force the beat, right? But again, you want to slam. You want to slam. You never slam with your minefields. But uh, you got the Lucio. Okay, you, you try to take the trade with the Bastion there. I don't recommend. Usually against Bastion, what you want to do is you want to go in, force, force the sentry more, and then back up. I'm doing good, Devin. How are you doing? Now you feel a couple of grapples. Okay, you run it down main. After after the, the first two, two, two points on attacking, you stop scouting that well. Are you Andrew Tate? I don't know who that is. Oh, that guy is the... I think I know who that guy is. I don't know if that's a compliment, but no, I'm Moe. I'm unique. I'm like no other. Okay, that's a good hit. That's a good bounce. You overstayed a little bit to the Bastion. You also heard the Bastion ulti, right? When you hear the Bastion enemy ulti or the, the junk enemy ulti, when they ulti, they're vulnerable, right? They're standing in the same place, and most likely they're not going to see you shooting them. So usually when that happens, I just go try to find them, if you can, if you can. After you got your E there, I would have went into them. You can still win this, you have your E, okay? Your eye go to a corner. Nice, right, so make sure you don't see 9 here, and we should be okay. Oh no, yeah, I think you lost. Still winnable, but I don't think you got, yeah, you see 9. So what you could have done better here? I think this fight was still very winnable, although you're down a couple. So you know that the bash the new sentry form, so you can slam. You can slam with your E now. I'm not sure why you decided to roll through instead of slamming here. Grapple there and then slam a couple of people here with your E. I guess because you're low, you could have waited just a little bit. 
There is no need to rush. Like, like still have this space to go in. Whether Mora is, is uh, trapped. And now it's still very winnable. Oh, the Lucio is back though. It was a nice try. You did apply the fundamentals. I feel like you could have slammed, killed them more early. But apart from that, that was decent. Now it's too late to stall though. Oh, you missed your E there. Look, look at your E. It happens. But you want to avoid that, right? Okay, good slam. A little bit dangerous, but... Look, now you don't have the slam though. But he is ulting. You didn't have time to react. Are you gonna minefield slam? He's gonna minefield slam. Let's go! Nice! The, the Reaper almost died. Oh, there you go, you kill him. Minefield slam, too strong. Okay, you hide it right away. There is no point on shooting a Bastion with sentry mode. You lose that one versus one, okay? And now you're gonna feed. Why? Because you didn't apply the fundamental. You could have just waited. Remember... Don't feel pressure to always be going in. Don't feel pressure to always going in. It's not about going in always and disrupting always. It's about going in at the right time and get out. Going in at the right time and get out. It's a cycle. It's not about going in and staying and keep rolling. Right? It's about going in, run away, because a Wrecking Ball is a hit and run character. Sometimes you will be able to stay to finish up a kill or because no one is looking at you. But most of the times, 90% of the time, it's about eating and running. It's not about eating and staying. Unless they have a specific comp that is rushing your team and you need to stop that. But that's not the case. And because you overstay, you're going to lose half of your HP. You don't need to lose that half HP. And Ball can get a lot of value by not going in. By getting a better flank. By getting high ground. So you can slam without your grapple. By just hiding. And the enemy team. Oh shit. Ball behind. And they keep looking at you. Because they think you're going to engage. Okay. Gonna get a slam. No. Don't shoot. Don't shoot. Oh. I gotta lose your OP. You're gonna have your E though. So you're not gonna die. But that's already a bad... Oh, you went in again. Time to get the fuck out. Is it? Your first decision to do against a Bastion is shooting them. And should not be that. Unless, unless like, he's distracted. And you want to bait the sentry form. But right there, you just overstayed and took so much damage. But the feeding started from back, right? You're feeding for a couple of fights now, where you lose all your HP. You gotta respect the Bastion Sentry form. But it's okay, they have overtime, you can retouch here. You can get high ground first, you gotta, you're running it down main again. You're probably gonna be fine, it's overtime, you hide, eat and run, see? You eat and run. And now you overstayed a bit. Okay, just to run away, okay, let's go back. I feel like you went a little bit too early because your team was coming out of spawn. You're gonna have your E, so you should be okay. Roll with your E. No! Look, they're, they're gonna cap. Why aren't you... You still have your E. Like, why not roll through right here? You decide to hide and go for the Mega. Before this, it's before this. Now you're going in. But the team almost capped. You could have waited two seconds for your E, so you could have stayed there. They gotta pick it right there. Why do you go for the Mega there? The fight is going on. You have your E. Time to go win. You almost have your minefield. Can slam point. Oh, you booped, you booped them to the tire. Okay, that was perfect timing. I don't know if you got lucky, but you booped them to the tire. Now you can just carry this. You kill the Mora first, and then the Bastion. You go for the Bastion first. Okay, well. Uh, uh, so, uh, luckily enough, the Mora didn't heal him for some reason. Heal him too late. And then you panic minefield on the left side. You could have minefield point. But it's already over. That was a nice boop to the tire. I don't know if you did it on purpose. But hey, you did it. Again, I, just, I think you need a little bit refining on the fundamentals. But you are applying them most of the time. Well played.
for a one month wrecking ball main i'm impressed i'm impressed i'm impressed make sure your minefield slam you are applying the the most important fundamental and because of that you're going to be winning but trust me when i tell you if you don't refine those fundamentals once you get a, a diamond and masters that's your goal right you're not gonna right there you're gonna be missing you're gonna be you're gonna be dying certain times because you, the, the fundamentals are not refined if you refine the fundamentals you can get top 500 easily